hi everyone welcome back to my youtube channel if this is your first time watching my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also click on the notification bell beside it so that whenever i post new videos you'll be notified i welcome you all that are always view my video and uh, those of you that are always subscribing thank you so much and may the almighty god bless you so the only um sisters that has been accused always for disrupting the honest marriage and also um ordering his wives around making them feel uncomfortable in their husband's house and um also prompting them to pack their things and leave the palace they have something to say they have denied every allegations about meddling into honest marital affair they say that they don't have the right to tell Oni of Ife what to do in his marital home. That the Oni is a king and he decides whatever he wants to do. They don't cajole Oni of Ife to, or uh, they don't cajole him in the way to handle his family and his affairs. Yes, they are the sisters of the Oni. But that does not mean that they give him orders or they manipulate him. That all those things that has been that have been said about them are nothing but lies. We don't know how, how true it is, and we don't know who to believe anymore because you know every day stories comes up. The only sisters, the three sisters here, have strongly been accused. That they are the masterminders. They are the ones that will leave their husband's house, come to their brother's house and make life uncomfortable for their wives. So here is what they said. Since the Oni of Ife ascended the throne of our forefathers, none of us, the sisters, have ever lived in the palace. None of us have ever over, uh, overtly or covertly been involved in any of the day-to-day -day activities of the palace. We do not make any decisions whatsoever and only visit the palace when there are special events that our family, the, the Giesi family, are required to be involved in according to the tradition. Anyway, guys, this is, uh, sorry, my voice is not um, good. I don't know. I think this is a general flu or something. There's this, um, I have this sore throat. This is really disturbing me. So this is what the only sisters said, that they don't even come to the palace unless there is any family function that, has, that is being taken place in the palace, that um, they don't run the day-to-day -day activities in the palace. They don't make any decisions for the only. So whatever the only or however he is living his life, it is his decision. After all, he is an adult. So the sisters has always been, you know, they've been pointing a lot of accusing fingers at them, tell them calling them all sorts of names that um, they left their home. They left their husband's house to come, you know, disrupt other women's affair, that they are not um, being fair to the on to the to the former queen that is queen naomi i call her former because she is not in the palace anymore and also the other queen that was also treated the same way queen naomi was being treated that is queen zainab roller so according to what um, queen zainab said um what she saw in the palace that the only sisters the only sisters never liked her they did not even hide it. They did not even pretend about it that uh, we don't like you. They made it so clear that even a blind man can see it, that they don't like this person. You know, when somebody does not like you and they are showing it to your face, they made it so clear that you are not welcomed in this family. Even if you have, even if, if you like, have all the money in the world. And she felt that because of uh, why they treated her that, that way because of she is not Yoruba. But now, 
Okay, Naomi is Yoruba from Ilefe. Their own, their own uh, personal person. So I, I thought um, they would be so close to her or they would take her as their sister because she is part of them. She is from their tribe and she is their her, she is one of them. So, but she suffered the same fate, according to her. She suffered the same fate and even worse. So, you know, out of um, the wives that Onyo of Ife had been with, Queen Naomi is the person that her own story, you know, bust the internet and started bringing out some hidden secrets that is being, that is going on in the palace. Yes. You know, other wives, Queen Naomi is not, is, I think she's a third wife or something. But the other wives that left the owner of Ife, is it that they don't have the courage or they just don't want to talk about it? Or is it that Queen Naomi is being loved more than them? Because when she said she does not want the marriage anymore, people started following her bomba to bomba to to know what is really happening, to know why she left the honor of Ife. Not even the marriage did not even last for five years. So the honest palace secret leaked when Queen Naomi left the palace. That was when people started reacting that something must be wrong in that palace. Something is really wrong in that palace. And others say we are saying that Queen Naomi is a child of grace. You know, that she has so much anointing in her. And you know, like they always say, touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm. Maybe the honor of effect touched the anointing of the prophetess. And that is why he's been torn apart left, right and center. Because Queen Naomi leaving the palace was like opening the, the annals of the fowl. People that don't even meddle, that don't even that don't even know what is happening in the palace before, get to know some hint of how the Oni live his life, and you know some part of him that others are not saying. Just like what Queen Naomi said, that there is a part of Oni of Ife that she wants people to know about. I don't know if it's for the negative purpose or for the positive purpose. So the sisters now has come to clear their head that they don't know anything about Oni of Ife and his wives. That all these ones that they are saying that they are wicked, they are this, they are that. Even bringing up their failed marriages. The three sisters, they have their, their marriages are not, are nothing to write home about. They are, they have failed marriages. So am I, am, am I, is it like it is um, a family something? You know, there's something they call family problem. The three sisters, they are not in a stable family um, relationship. Their husbands, I think they have left, some of them left their homes and the other ones, they are having serious um, combats with their husband. And their brother now, a king, is busy changing women like rapper. You know, if he, if he eventually marries this one today, the next time they will, they will run away. Because the way Queen Naomi left the palace was outrageous. She did not even wait for the Oni to come back. She just packed her bag and baggages and she left. So the Oni of Ife considered it a disrespect. That she disrespected him and also the throne. And for the institution of marriage, she disrespected that fact. And that was why the Oni of Ife is not making any attempt to bring her back. And it is also said that Queen Naomi is not going to step her foot into their palace again because of the way she left. She left in a disrespectful way. She's not going to come back there as a queen or as a mother. The only connection is that um, her son is the king's um, son as well. So I think he's the son that will come there and see his father. But as for Queen Naomi... The tradition demands that she will not step her feet into the house because of she left. And um, she will not be regarded as a queen anymore. So that is the findings I got today. The only sister really, you know, I think a lot of people have been giving them bad bulls, you know. Telling them how wicked and how heartless they are. Knowing fully whether they are women and they 
have kids or they will have kids how would they feel if their children is being treated the way they are treating another woman in her husband's home so i don't know this is what i came across today and um i decided to share it on my page and also i want to address something whenever i make a post i always say allegedly people will just feel like i am insulting the honor of ife i am not i'm not insulting the honor of ife and um I'm just saying what I saw on the blog. There is no, any, any blogger, let me tell you the truth. No blogger, no blogger is 100% um, there when an event is being taken. It's been now uh, taken. So whatever we say about the honor of Ife and the palace, we allegedly say it. I would just say allegedly, you know, it's not like um I was there. It is what we saw on blogs and other channels. That is what we tend to talk about. And people that are close to the palace, that knows, you know, the palace more than people that like us, that don't have access to the palace, who now tell us this is not it. Not coming to say it in a very disrespectful way. You can also correct somebody in a very nice way. Anyway, guys, this is what I want to table here. Thank you all for always watching my video and for subscribing. Please, if you're putting your comments, don't be insulting about it. I will see you in my next video. Have the best of the day. Bye-bye.